Welcome back YouTube. I hope you're all having a great day. Let's begin our next challenge. Level 16. The goal for this level is to obtain the credentials for the next level, which can be retrieved by submitting the password of the current level to a port in the range of 31,000 to 32,000 on localhost. They suggest that we first find out which of these ports have a server listening on them. And then we need to find out which of those speak SSL and which don't. Let's head over to the terminal. We first want to have our current password at hand. I store this locally. Our first step will be to scan for open ports. We will use the inmap command for this. Inmap is a network exploration tool and security or port scanner. This is how inmap is used. Our target will be localhost. To know which options we will need, let's head over to the port scanner section of this manual pages. And here we'll use the dash p option to specify our port ranges. So our first command to scan for the open ports will be the following. This gave us five open ports. Now, our second step, we need to determine which of those speak SSL and which don't, meaning we need to determine their service. Again, we will use the nmap command. And here under option summary, to specify service and version detection, we will need to specify the dash sv option, which probes open ports to determine the service and version info. Alternatively, we could specify the dash A option, which gives us more information under which version detection. But for our purposes, the dash SV will be plenty. Note that dash V probes open ports, so we don't need to specify it, the five open ports exactly. We can just specify the range again. So the command for our second step will be the following. Now this command might take a while. For me, this took about a minute and a half to complete. We finally got our service information. So we have two ports that run SSL, this one and this one. Additionally, we have some information that was returned from one of these ports. Let's analyze this. The 31790 port returned wrong. Please enter the correct current password. So with a high probability, we can say that our 31790 is the correct port. Now as our Third step, we will submit our current password to this port. Remember, the port uses SSL, so as in our last video, we will use the OpenSSL command. Don't forget to add the ignore end of file option because we want to wait for the server response. And we just obtained our credentials. Now we want to copy this credential information and we will want to save this locally. So first we'll log out by either typing log out, exit or hitting Control D. We will use the Venn editor to save this information. You can name this file anything you want. I will name it over the wire sshkeylog.private
you will paste it. To save and exit this editor, you will hit colon, W to write, and Q to quit. Now we want to log in to the next level with this private key file. Remember, with SSH, to log in with a private key file, we need to specify the dash I option. So normally this should be our command. However, this didn't work because apparently our permissions for our private keylog file are too open. So let's change this. We will use the commod command. Commod changes file modes or access control lists. We want to change the file mode or the file permissions. Those are similar terms. We will use the O400 mode to only allow a read by owner, which is us. So our command will be the following. We try again. We successfully logged in. To register our completion of level 16, we type the reachout command. Now that everything is successfully synchronized, let's head over to the WeChat website to verify. We update. Congratulations on completing level 16. You rock. Thank you for watching this video. Please show your support and hit that like button, subscribe and turn on notifications to keep up to date with our next achievements.